The world's correspondent Ahmed Al Burai joins us from Antakya on the Turkey Syria border. Ahmed, so good to have you here. Now, recently we've seen Mosul in Iraq being retaken from Daesh, but the, the price the civilians paid was extremely high. How is the situation in Raqqa similar, if at all? Well, Maria, it's pretty similar. What the activists are saying, there is a silent slaughter against the civilians in Raqqa. The people who are still in Raqqa while the battle is ongoing, they either have two options. They either go outside trying to evacuate the city, and if they do so, they've either been targeted by the Daesh militants who are not allowing them to go out, or by the, the um, alliance, the coalition forces that are targeting everybody. We've seen a score of people have been uh, killed during the past few months uh, since the operation started in June while trying to evacuate the city. So the situation is completely catastrophic. As as activists are saying, and nobody is trying to save these people who are trying to flee the uh, conflicting zones, a safe corridor so they can find a refuge outside the, the, battle, uh, the battle of Raqqa. Now, Ahmed, do we know exactly where Daesh militants and their families will be moved to? What we know since uh, in August uh, this year, a Daesh have for the first time accepted uh, to be forcibly evacuating some of its territories on the border with Lebanon, Syria, Lebanon borders, and a, the report speaking about them moving to the borders with Iraq. Uh, with Iraq. Uh, what we know so far is a score of militants have surrendered to the coalition forces, reports speaking about more than 100 of them, and the remaining are going to uh, be evacuated in places along the borders with Iraq, but it is so far, it is not clear where exactly they're going to be relocated. But Ahmed, tell me, what's the point exactly of relocating militants and their fighters to other places that are either targeted or will be targeted soon? The only point, according to the activist, is the lack of a comprehensive and inclusive uh, strategy to fight Daesh. What is happening is the coalition is trying to extinguish fire in certain places, and then by moving these terrorist organizations to other places, the people there are, uh, do have a serious concerns that the fire is going to come to their own houses and they're going to be targeted by the coalition forces, and that would lead to another catastrophe in another places. So the, the lack of a comprehensive strategy leads to different uh, conflicts in different places unless uh, the coalition and the whole uh, international community find a way to deal with these terrorist organizations. This uh, is going to go on for a long time and it, it's going to end up in Raqqa, but then you may have in other places in Syria as well. Ahmed, thanks so much for that update there. Ahmed Al-Burai from Antakya on the Turkey-Syria border for us.